It has now been more than a year since a whale trainer named Dawn Branchot drowned doing what she loved. The killer whale she worked with pulled her underwater by her ponytail. That whale is now back performing for the first time since the tragic accident. In just a moment, we'll hear from Dawn's family finally breaking their silence. But first, more on their sister and the daughter they lost. A dedicated trainer, a passionate animal lover, Don Branchot's childhood dream was to work at SeaWorld and train a whale like Shamu. The dream became her reality. This young lady loved these whales and she loved her work and she was one of the best there is. Last February, the 40-year-old trainer was filmed in this home video just moments before her untimely death. The killer whale, Tilikum, dragged Branchot by her ponytail, pulling her underwater until she drowned. Came back around to the glass, jumped up, and grabbed the trainer by the waist and started shaking her violently. Following Branchot's death, the park banned trainers from being in the water with all killer whales. Tilikum does have a history of violence. He was involved in two other human deaths. <laughs> Despite that history, just last week, for the first time in 13 months, SeaWorld allowed Tilikum to perform, and some activists are worried. He's a time bomb, in my opinion. If anybody comes even close to him, trust me, he's going to grab somebody. The shocking death of Brand Cho caused SeaWorld to take a closer look at its safety system. The theme park is spending tens of millions of dollars on safety measures to protect its staff. And joining me now are some of Don Brancho's siblings, Diane Gross, Tom Laverde, Deborah Fragamini, and Darlene Clages, as well as Don's mother, Marion Laverde. Good morning. Welcome to you all, and thank you so much for being here. Good morning. Thank, thank you. you. I just, you have really been silent for the last year, and I can see this is an emotional day just to be here. Why are, yes. why are you deciding to speak out now? Well, Elizabeth, I think if you've seen pictures of my sister that have been all over the internet, all over the news. Um, you just see what a beautiful person she was. But Dawn's beauty wasn't on the outside. It came from within. And she touched so many people's lives. And I think when this tragedy happened, obviously it devastated our family. And we couldn't have come forward and spoken at that time. We were incapable of that. But with the support of our friends and family, we've been working to form a foundation to honor the incredible person she was, the legacy she left behind. You have talked about the fact that she had a real passion for this job, a real love for the enormous, powerful creatures yes. with which she worked, mm -hmm. and that she would have felt very strongly not having Telecom euthanized. You're positive she would never have wanted something to happen to Telecom? I mean, obviously it's hard for us to speak on behalf of Dawn in this situation. It's, it's unknown what her perspective might have been. We do know that she loved those whales very much and she spent a lot of time with Telecom trying to improve the quality of his life when she did work there. And fully understood the risks. Right. You know, knew that being close to those animals, you know, I'm certain had some inherent risk to it. That was her dream. When she was nine years old, that's what she wanted to do. And she fulfilled her dreams. She, since she was nine, she yes, wanted to we work took, with? We took the family to SeaWorld, and she says, I want to be a Shamu trainer. And that was her life. That was her uh, goal in life. And she was fortunate enough to do it, and she loved her work. As you make this announcement on yes. this foundation in her honor and yes. in her name, this comes, of course, as Telecom goes back to mm -hmm. work. Is this purely coincidental? We're okay with Telecom being in the water. If that's what's best for Tilly, that's what Dawn would want. You have lots yes. of um, activities planned in the next coming weeks? Right. We were trying to come forward because of our upcoming event, which is going to be April 16th, which would have been Dawn's birthday. Um, and we're going to do a 5K family walk and run. Um, Yes. which we, we're going to work in benefit. Um, we're going to do a food drive for the uh, Central Florida Children's Home, and a portion of the proceeds will also go to that home. Um, following the run, SeaWorld is going to be um, dedicating their current education and conservation facility um, in the name of Dawn, so we'll have the Dawn Branch Show uh, Educational Complex mm. to carry on her legacy uh, for the future. So She'd be very proud. is also saluting her. Oh, Correct, yes. absolutely. Okay. Um, you know, she was very proud of educating people, primarily children, about 
the animals that she worked with. Well, I think she would be proud to hear, have listened to you today, and we're so happy that you could be here with us oh, this morning, you. and we're so sorry for your loss. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I know, I can see from your faces, it's still very real. <laughs> yes, it is. It's anyway. special. All right, thank you so much. Thanks. You're welcome.